Coming up on today's FNN, we wrap up Black History Month with a big celebration. Plus, Ramadan begins this weekend. We learn more about the holiday from MSA. And we recap a busy week of postseason basketball. Stay tuned for all that and more because FNN starts now. Happy Friday, Falcons. I'm Sophia James. And I'm Yanisa Ambrose. Kentwood Public Schools recently hosted their annual Black History Month program to celebrate the history and culture of the black community. Our very own Jasmine Smithers was there as a performer and as a reporter. At East Kentwood High School, we held our annual Black History Month program filled with a plethora of events, all the way from our own East Kentwood students to fellow members of the community. Sinquan Cheatham shares how he felt being a part of the show and what it meant to the black community. For me, being a part of the show just meant giving, uh, being able to, you know, showcase, uh, you know, black beauty and just our pride. Um, it kind of capture, uh, captures that image of back when, we, you know, we were really in power. What, you know, we showcased the world, what we can do. Producer of the show, Jamie Gordon, shares the importance of telling back history as American history. This year we really wanted to make sure that we were telling the story of the Middle Passage, um, but even before that time, what life was before, for black people um, before they came to America or before they were brought to um, America. We were kings and queens and were educated and very independent in Africa. So there was life for black people before uh, slavery um, in the United States, and I think that was an important part of the history. Co-producer Shana Mustard shares her hopes for the future of this event. My hopes um, are to continue to help it grow, um, continue to utilize our students' talents and um, having them showcase um, what they can do um, and just continuing to make it bigger and better for the community to come in and learn and see what our students have to offer. Black history is American history and deserves to be shown and celebrated as such. At East Kenwood, I'm Jasmine Smithers. The Black History Month program is one of many cultural celebrations hosted here at EK. Don't forget that the annual Holy Celebration is just around the corner too. Now that March has finally started, the Islamic holiday of Ramadan will soon begin for those participating. For members of the Muslim community, Sunday evening marks the start of a month full of fasting, service, and communal gatherings. FNN's Christy Wynn spent time with members of EK's Muslim Student Association to learn more about this holiday and ways in which we can support fasting students during this time. For those who don't know, Ramadan is the ninth month of the Islamic calendar. This year it occurs from March 10th to April 9th, beginning and ending at sundown. I spoke with Bayan, MSA co-president, about what Ramadan is and its purpose. Ramadan is a spiritual like month for Muslims where they fast from sunrise to sunset in hopes of like spiritually and physically cleansing themselves and just moving towards being a better Muslim but also a better person. EK is known for celebrating cultures from all over the world. When it comes to Ramadan, extra support from the school goes a long way. MSA treasurer Emila explains what our school could do to accommodate those who are fasting during Ramadan. Um, one way the school can accommodate students who are like participating in Ramadan is like offering us places to pray because it can be difficult to find that, um, especially when we're running like on the prayer times and we're trying to pray on time. And another way is by just like being aware of like students that are fasting. Emila continues to speak on what those around EK can do to create a safe space for those fasting and participating in Ramadan. Students are encouraged to help their peers feel comfortable. She mentions a couple of ways to do so. Ramadan is welcome for anybody to participate, so you can fast with your friends if you want, or you could join them for iftar, you know, or the meal where we break our fast. Um, but a sim another, like a simple way you can help is by just like educating yourself on what Ramadan is about and like why we fast and things like that. Ramadan is a celebration of betterment and guidance, where others should be supportive and motivated. You can further educate yourself by doing research or talking to those who are taking part in Ramadan. At EK, I'm Christy Wynn. East Kentwood is full of students and staff who may be taking part in Ramadan. Make sure you're supporting and being respectful of those who are. If you would like to know more about Ramadan, you can visit the Muslim Student Association page on Instagram at msa.ekhs. Last week, the annual Student Council Spring Blood Drive took place. 
as members of the EK community lined up to help save lives. Staff and students over the age of 16 packed the West Wing gym for the opportunity to donate blood. Every two seconds, someone in the U.S. is in need of blood due to accidents, surgeries, or medical treatment. Donating blood can be scary for some, but as a senior, Andre York explains having a friend with you can help make the experience less intimidating. Uh, honestly, because it's such an easy way to help, like you can save a life and all it takes is around like 20, 30 minutes of your time and a little bit of recovery. Uh, if you ever had the chance, you know, just like search up any local drives and if you're scared, like uh, it's usually like because of the needle, just like close your eyes so you talk to your doctor or have a friend with you to comfort you. A single donation could save up to three lives, so please consider signing up and donating for the next blood drive. It's scholarship season, a time when students' hard work during the school year is rewarded with money for college, and recently, an EK student was handing a check from one of the biggest companies there is. The Thurgood Marshall College Fund partnered with McDonald's to give a total of $1 million towards students attending historically black colleges and universities. East Kentwood's very own Nia Parker was awarded $1,000 from the fund for her leadership skills and outstanding academic success. Nia says this award provides representation and recognizes black excellence. It earns more representation towards like minority students because we're underrepresented and we should get more like notice. Eligible to receive up to $15,000, 63 scholars nationwide will be selected in the 2024-2025 school year. Congrats again, Nia. That wraps up your news this week, Falcons. Now let's send it over to Erica Lodge for EK Sports Report. What's up, Falcons? It's your girl, Erica, and this is your EK Sports Report. Both boys and girls basketball teams earned their spots in the playoffs, and earlier this week, they both hit the court. First up, the boys. The boys basketball team had their regional matchup against Forest Hills Central right here at the land. Early on, Forest Hills jumped out to a big lead, leading by more than 10 only a few minutes into the game. The Falcons fought back thanks to junior Cam Singer and his 15 points and Christian Humphreys with another 13. But sadly, their early jump helped the Rangers take home the win with a final score of 54 to 42. Moving on, our Lady Falcons have started their journey to Lansing on Wednesday going against the Lady Eagles of Hudsonville. They pulled out a win with the final score being 50 to 33. Michaela Porter led the way with 14 points and Santana Eubanks had a monster double-double scoring 12 points and grabbing 13 rebounds. Make sure you head to Granville tonight to cheer on the team as they face Byron Center for the regional championship. Tip off is at 7 and make sure you buy your tickets on GoFan ahead of time. We'll be back next week to talk the start of spring sports. Now, let's flip it back to the desk. That does it for this week's show. Make sure to follow us on Instagram and subscribe to Falcon News Network on YouTube where you can catch sports, live streams, previous episodes, and other great content. Plus, check the posters around the school to tune in to our new radio station and check out our podcasting channel. Have a great weekend and we'll see you back here next Wednesday.